So yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course I'm back on her really quick. Uh, of course, talking about video, so of course. Uh, we got the new info, my face cam is all over the place, who cares? But yeah, uh, we got into a lot of now. Uh, we got the next global campaign. I have no idea where the heck that came from. I'm half asleep right now because I literally just, just kind of fell asleep out of nowhere. I woke up, I realized I was like, I gotta record a video really quick. So yeah, um, this is the video really quick. So yeah, this probably should, I shouldn't take too, too long to go through all this info. But of course, Global has the next campaign, it's the Gi first campaign. I originally was gonna make a short, you know, saying, oh yeah, Gi is coming up for Global next because I seriously did. Put this out last couple of days ago, where they did, he did, they did, to somebody's work. Um, they did tweet it out and stuff like that, of course, and they usually are right, always right on the money, the celebration info, and of course, yeah, it's Ginyu next. It was, again, it was, this is a really no surprise for me, anyway. No surprise, we already was good, like, whatever, this is after JP's anniversary, so, of course, it's more of a cool off celebration. And for Global kind of does make sense because we just had Gold Meat, this is probably a good cool off celebration, and Jero for Duncan for Global. The celebration isn't that bad. Um, I don't think there was a part to LR. Did they have a part to LR? I don't think they did. I think this was in. I think this was like. This was like February? March? We yeah, have March going on to April because of. Yeah, end of February going on to March. Yeah, the same day. We didn't get. I think. You know, we didn't get a lot of the same days here. I know for JP, I think for Reddit's, I know they got like the Goku and Piccolo. Yeah, really, not really that much I was kind of like after that. Um, it would make sense because that was right after the seven year anniversary. Again, this is um, whatever Global gets before the anniversary, whoever, or no, whatever JV gets after the anniversary, Global always gets before the anniversary. So don't need to worry, don't need to stress or whatever. Um, this was at right, right after the anniversary for JP, and it was really more of a cool off. It wasn't that bad though, I had some really good stuff here. Um, we're gonna have a lot of easy things in the celebration. So we have like the physical game for us, we have the team products from squad. Uh, Android 16, Super Strike, I think. Global oh, with their second, first, technically, because we already, I think we already got Money Mask already, pretty much. Um, say Global already got the taste of that Super Strike, you know, new Super Strike we up early. You get um, the medals via missions, the stages, again, typical stuff for those Super Strikes. It's so easy, it's so simple, stuff for that, of course. And this celebration, though, it's not that, like, there's really not that much in here. It's all of that, of course. Maybe, like, one little new thing, really, really new. It's like a, like, a language. New language release because I think this is the next newsletter for Global. Of course, for every month, um, <clears throat> they're trying to do this. They're going before, like this newsletter for June. But yeah, by the time, by the time I get the video up, it'll already be June. Um, I don't know what day June. Probably maybe June first or second. Probably I'm gonna try to think for that time. Uh, because I already know I have a JP campaign video. I have like done already though, so I, all I got to do is like upload it. And go. Uh, I was gonna do um, this Global month first, but I like, already have that one ready to go. I don't want to get outdated too fast, so yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, though, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started though, stuff like that. Again, this is uh, mainly after the, yeah, after JP, so this is again, after their anniversary, so, yeah, they do get all these in here in the form, uh, in the form of the physical game force. They're not that bad, they're actually really, really good. Um, yeah, a lot of those special missions, that's very, very typical. Uh, game force, Dokken Fest, that's very typical. Um, Dokken Fest, uh, Dragon Stone Sale is always there. Uh, the packs are always there, it's always typical stuff. It would have banner, so yeah, the seven, yeah, because Jamie's getting there on the 17th. Gold's getting there on the 19th. Again, probably no LR because they're gonna be just. But they could put Goku and Piccolo early because I think last year they had Vegeta and Nappa. What was that fifth year? I know before the era, so they always released the LR for Global. They could push it early because Global does have a whole June time slot. I know for Jamie, the whole celebration is only lasting for the whole month of June. Which makes sense because Tina bought us like right around that corner. That's kind of their one point two point five anniversary technically. So that's a whole entire month celebration. So yeah, but a guy banner, um, that retails, you know, like I said, part better. Um, trainings could be um, upped and doubled and stuff like that. He do confess. Um, Team Bardock easy. I just really wasn't that surprising. Um, but yeah, again, they all get them easy. I think every week we'll pretty much get like an easy piece. So, like, in Super Strike, um, I'm trying to think of it right now, in the Super Strike, um, 16 comes out, I think we'll get, like, Tora, and I think, Shugesh's Easy A's, but I know right now we have Borgos, and we have Fasha, right now, of course, Borg will be the last one, um, I guess Global will probably release that in batches, or, 
Maybe all the way? I don't know, because again, this is this whole No, we have a whole month We have a whole month for the celebration. So maybe if you're there, we'll see It'll be a good thing. Battlefield's back, like I said, for like Game 4 specifically. It's always the same, just like Game 4 community ZA. Just take a lot of notes for those ZA spells, so yeah. Get the Battlefield points ready. Um, uh, OG Game 4 um, ZA's. This is the first time, no, this is, I think it's like, is this the first time getting their ZA's? No, it is not. Again, just, you know, she came out so long ago, I was like, holy crap. Um, so they are good, they're easy, so it's stupid, what I think about that? Um, story events, don't need to go over that, just dynamic story events. I think, um, I think that's pretty much it, though. That's really new. Um, yeah, that's um, ECA, just for dynamic, seven year missions for global. The new language release celebration. I think of that Super Strike 16. Yeah, like I said, nothing like really crazy in the celebration. The stuff we already knew, we already got though, so nothing like the really crazy goal for though. But um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, because they did say for Brazil and Spanish um, languages they were going to release that for the next newsletter, so people can understand in the uh, for what, in the language. Even though we already go over it anyway though, but for other countries like Germany, I think like I said, um, more Spanish like culture, um, racist slash, um. What do we call it for? Um, for like for the next newsletter, because they did mention that in the May one, they could try at least for more for Spanish and of course German, like um, for all Spanish and German people, pretty much uh, for the countries. So they're gonna really sad. So that's probably why there. Again, that was like in the first. I'll link this more along the video. It was what the so, I think it's like the Golden Week, you know, for both Global and JP for that newsletter. So <clears throat> that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> Obama voice is really <clears throat> getting really there. But yeah, um, this is. All the factory stuff for that, of course. Again, this is doing stuff like crit, dragon stones, um, potential orbs. Again, this is pretty much every celebration. No, this is the ad packs are still really good. Honestly, it's still the same for the anniversary because those, 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 those stones will be way better. Cool boy, like, like maybe like it's gonna be the same stuff because it's pretty much the same for every celebration. Like three um, or four, um, you know, typings of that specific um, equipment. Like right here, it's like zooming ETL for getting you. Um, I think like four go on. I think. Was the last pack? I think that Global had, they had like tech. Was it a tech unit? I think it was like the Androids had like the tech um, based um, project like system and stuff like that. But yeah, Global did get some you know, discounts for stones. Um, those are always still really worth it in my opinion though, because uh, that's more bang for your buck pretty much. And if you're on Global, that's really is a good banker. Because um, again, those, those discounts and tickets are so good. Again, it's always really good. A lot of people are saying, should you summon, if you have if you have the money for the tickets that you want to spend, you go ahead. Also, I still say, say for the anniversary, you're going to get your money's worth, your paycheck's worth, way out of like, your pocket right there. So, yeah. Of course, like I said, um, take a banner. Or that was, ooh, that was. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, take a banner, of course, typical stuff. Um, would you, you know, go to Bob Shop and purchase tickets? And of course, like I said, you'll get the, the um, not potential orb, but you'll get the, um, not potential orb, you'll get the, I'm trying to think of it right now, you'll get the, great, face count working. Um, I can't think of it right now. Um, potential orbs, uh, you get tickets and stuff like that, of course. But yeah. Um, like it is very, very simple, very, very easy stuff, like I said, though. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, though. Um, that's Global's uh, tickets, of course Global has a uh, discount as well. But yeah, the banners are exactly the same, I believe, so, yeah. See? JP's banner, Global's banner. They just had the androids and it was so easy. Honestly though, the banners are still really, really good. Overall. They still, I mean, they're still the same, just the to the androids, and the androids are still, I think. They kill cool for the androids, I mean, I don't want to say they're on the same level, but for like the same level of worth it, they both are really good, like and worth it, honestly. But honestly, yeah, save your coins, save your money, honestly, save for the anniversary, because like, we're just like, we're almost there, and it's just an arm's reach, like, it's just, it's just like, literally right there, right? Honestly, um, I still say skip it if you can, but you want to get the discounts, like, always, I think Global says they're always the bank, that's always a banger, always get the discounts, there's always, they're always working, no matter what. So yeah, my um, nose is a little stuffy right now. My throat's getting really dry. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, free play game for us. Um, this was um, this is particularly the one from um, Battlefield. They're not a bad unit. They're actually really, really good. They get a lot of support. A lot of um, they get pretty much a lot of support. It's really, really, they, they, 
Oh, now it's getting stuck in there. Um, but yeah, um, a lot of support, a lot of attack and defense, and just any chance, any um, or a good orb junior as well. They are pretty much maybe also the best pre pre to play easy in the game. And I did see, I, even for me, I used them like a world tournament though. They're gonna be really, really good. I think for like the E4 teams as well. Again, the tech one just got announced on JP, on JP for their easy A. And I figured out, like, they'll probably be just like this. Honestly, just make them like the tech one again. Make the physical one the tech one, and that's all you really gotta do, because they're like, honestly, just supreme, like extreme pious, and they get a lot of tech defense. I think up like 25% for the tech one. Free play. And then on the other hand, um, they're um, the to go for game force. I think it's like 40 percent or 25 percent or 35 percent for game force again they're many of those force up you know all you gotta do is give them key attacking defense is all you gotta really do you can pretty much just make them miss like that's all you gotta really do like no one's gonna complain again they're doing it before in the past i mean almost units almost exactly alike almost good but at the same time it's also like again like i said they really are good like great leader scale honestly if they're on the money game force team they're gonna be disgusting because they're gonna help out game for the allies they give them a lot of key they give them a lot of attacking defense and they're gonna be more dangerous and they're gonna like go with the game force specifically. Beautiful. But yeah, like I say, again again. Also for Ganyu though, like his team is really, really good. Like if um I should go back here. Um because um Global's getting again, seven year tickets and stuff like that, so you can get those really, really early. And yeah, Global's gonna have probably a little bit more tickets, like in the fifth and sixth year, I think Global had a little bit more. I don't want fifth year, definitely. I think they had I think they had like a hundred more thirty more than GDP. Then of course for um Um I think last year, I think they had kind of the same even amount. No, it was kind of, but, uh, yeah. But yeah, Ginyu, though, he's a really good unit, honestly. Um, but yeah, the problem is with Ginyu, though, is that you kind of had to base him on the Ginyu 14. So pretty much all you're going to really use him for, probably the Ginyu 14, because otherwise, I mean, all the teams is not bad, but it's like the Ginyu 14 is so good. Like, yeah, Bakum and Birder, um, no, yeah, no, um, Jason, um, Birder, Gordo, and Raccoon, they got them, they can use the fringe like game 14. They might use the tech one and they get an easy A on JP. Well, go for Gobo right now, they don't have to use it. But yeah. Um, but other than that, is a really good unit, but you do kind of do really, you do really, if you have something for him, you do have to get the Raccoon and yeah, you have to get the juice because it's otherwise the better units, because otherwise he's just okay if you don't, if you don't use him once. Again, you want to use him for the game 14 pretty much at this point. Um, I know it's not gonna be that bad, but I mean, Game Force Team is gonna be his main bread and butter pretty much, though. <laughs> Birder and Jace, you know, Butter and Jam. There you go, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you land a good quality joke. Birder, you know, Butter, Jace, Jam. You know, he's red, he's blue, come on. Like, come on, guys. I think I know what I'm doing. I was just for such a long time. I think I know what I'm doing pretty much at this point. I think I know what I'm doing. But yeah, though, um, yeah, though, of course, um, and that was really stuffy tonight. Um, but yeah, um, again, like I said, if you're, again, I can kind of clear as well. Like, you really do need to summon, like, if you're gonna summon before him, again, like I said, you're gonna need this, um, this Birder and, uh, Raccoon and uh, Gordo, and of course this Jason Birder. Again, sorry to say that, because they are good, like, they really, like, Jason Birder are probably one of the best support units. That's, you know, units in the game, like, one of the best units in the game, because their support for Green you, they're gonna help them out, and for shoveling wars in general, like, they're gonna help out you so well, and they get, like, so well with them with the links. Same thing goes for Birder and, um, her, uh, oh lord, Raccoon and Gordo as well, like, they're gonna be really, really good, like, overall, like, again, they do lower attack and defense, it's gonna guard, have a lot of attack and defense. It could take a while. They had to build that up, though. So sadly, again, like I say, you had to build that up for um, Raccoon and um, Gordo. You had to kind of build up for passive and stuff like that. And um, again, they are really, really good. Like these shoes are really good. Like I have, I don't really need to talk about them. I say on them that much, though. But they really are good. Even like Gizo transformation. Like you're gonna see his like, like, just go a lot though. Even for Gizo, like he's gonna do a lot of damage in the Broly event, like the Red Zone event. This year was probably one of the best teams in the game. Again, it's disgusting, but yeah, the problem is that um, with these units, so you do have to summon, and you, and you have to get these units, because otherwise, he's just okay. I'm sorry to say that though, but yeah, he's just okay if you try to use him on different teams, but the game force team, that's always got shine on most of pretty much. But overall, the banner is not that bad. Again, it's really just really good, but yeah, if you're gonna get Gin, you are gonna have to get these units So Again, they're really essential to this team. You're gonna have to run my team because otherwise, his team is gonna be really bad. And you can use the free play ones. The free play ones, like Gin, for team isn't that bad, but if you're gonna get more value, more bang for your buck, these guys, they're all like these are more new, newer units. And 
even the SSRs aren't even that bad either, because I've seen a lot of people use this. SSRs are not that bad, but... Again, if you get someone forgetting you, yeah, you're gonna honestly need these guys. Like, you're gonna really, really need those guys. I'm not saying you are, because, like, otherwise he's okay and the game is gonna be as effective or good, though. So, yeah, if you get someone forgetting you, you're gonna have to get these guys. Or at least one of them, though. At least one of them. But I think you're gonna need pretty much all of these guys for the team, because otherwise the game is just okay and... I don't think that's really good. You really just need to get him like that, though. But yeah, because I'll probably need to be able to never show that, like I said. If you got something for Gee, you're going to need those units. Again, that's essential for his team. Again, I made, or, I made a video for him breaking him down, going over from the like, All the videos somewhere around me, I above. You already know how that goes. You already know how I roll. <laughs> so yeah, see so you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, girl. I'll go to the end of the episode. Stay safe, watch your hands, God bless all of you. Oh, one more match. I'm looking to really do. Back in if you can. Go outside, test some grass, and go Um. Wait late night for me, go to sleep, go to bed, do something, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, what you gotta think about all is gonna feel like, of course, it's like, you hate it again. Very simple, really easy stuff, like I said. But like I said, for Ginyu though, it's just sad that you do have to pull up uh, those two new banner units, because otherwise, because those are, there are some of the best supports for Ginyu, and they're gonna help him really shine. Level 10 links, all that stuff, again. Um, but like I said, it's easy. It's an easy skip. Again, the anniversary is right around the corner. It's an easy skip. If you have the money, if you have the discounts and stuff like that, of course. Um, if you can actually afford it, you can go ahead and get the tickets, discounts. But otherwise, honestly, I say it's for the anniversary. It's more bang for your buck. But overall, though, like, game isn't that bad. Again, like I said, for his team, you definitely are going to need, um, you're going to definitely need those two, like, burger. Like, again, you need those, because otherwise, I mean, the free play ones aren't that bad, but, like, the ETH for those who play, like, the free play can you force. And him aren't that bad. Like, you can just you can use all those team units, but you're gonna need those two main new units. Like, you're gonna need these guys for a team, because otherwise, yeah, you're gonna be dumped. You're gonna get one shot later, though. So, um, yeah, though. Um, but yeah, I'll get all the fun for the game. This is game right there, so yeah. See you guys later, though. Okay, though. Peace out.